Hello, welcome back. Time to talk tools episode 61 here at Canberra Custom Engineering. Okay, so following on from a video I've just done on QMAX cutters, which are these things, I've got a set of them. They're kind of for punching holes in sheet metal. I thought it'd be a good idea to show you these. Hopefully you can see these. Okay, these are called dimple dies or hole swaging tools. I'm not exactly sure, but there we go. So basically I've got these from um, small to not as small, bigger. Now, I've got measurements on these. That is obviously more than 50 mil, but what that 50 mil is to do with is the size of the hole that you've got to cut first before you put this over it to swage or, or dimple the hole so it gives it like a, 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 a sunken in edge all around the hole. And you'll typically see that, I made a couple actually myself a few years back on things like uh, bomber seats, okay, in some of these hot rods and things like that. So let me just show you. This one, um, as you can see, this is a 22 mil. What I've done is I've, mar I've I went round, so get yourself one of these gauges if you haven't already got a digital vernier or however. And then you'd measure that piece, okay, get the measurement, that's 22 mil near enough. So you then need to cut a 22 mil hole or drill a 22 mil hole. That's why I've got the QMAX cutters. And you would then put that over it, tighten it all up, and that would swage your hole. Now, I'm going to go in depth on this and I'm going to show you how to do it, but not on this video. This is just the introduction. Please follow the link on this video or the QMAX video. That's going to take you to a longer one. And I'm showing you how to use the QMAX hole uh, press cutters and these hole swaging tools. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think I'm just going to do it with a piece of aluminium because that's what I've got in here at the moment. And to be honest with you, it is easier. Thanks for visiting. Follow the link. Check out the longer video and comment if you use these for anything. And you know what? I'm going to catch you on the next one. Hit the thumbs up button for me. It would be doing me a massive favour.